All right, what up guys? This is a 2003 Saab 9.3. It's an arc trim. So it does have the bigger turbo, but it's not an aero model. So it has slightly smaller brakes, a couple little odds and ends. I uh, actually had an ICM3 in here, but I don't anymore, but pretty basic, but it is a six speed um, with the F40. Hope you can see that. So it's a six speed, just a stock shifter. I do want to do the uh, short throw but that'll be the next race part. So anyway, this quickly became race car. That's a 2008 Turbo X automatic, but it is stage one. But this video is about this car and I bought this, it has 170,000 miles on it. I daily drove it for a few months, but now we're going full race car. I'm building what I want to be the fastest two liter. No one does, or very few people document building a two liter Saab 9.3 with a B207R, which is this motor. Um, as you can see, and I'll go into further detail in future videos, but uh, this broke off when I was pulling this coolant pipe off. Very common issue for this T to break. Uh, I've already pulled out the air box, secondary air pipe, secondary air valve. I'm going to pull that. Um, that's going to the secondary air pump down here. I do have the Taiwanese ECU relocation kit, which is this plate here. Has no ECU in it currently because they always break, and I had to <laughs> take this one and put it in my convertible that I just sold. Um, I got my O2 sensors here and EGT here, batteries out, coolant bottles moved over, but I want to show you the fun stuff. This is a water pump and the water pump lockout that you need in order to do the water pump. But for the fun stuff, let's take a look back here. It's an eBay Turbo GTX 3582. Um, this is a ZZP, ZZ Performance Manifold for Cobalt SS Ecotech LNF. It's the earlier uh, turbo cobalts. This is a absolute massive snail. I forget the exact specs, but I'll link it there. You can see uh, 44 millimeter wastegate, just a cheap eBay wastegate. Still trying to figure out how we're gonna do the oil and water hookups um, on the turbo. See if we can salvage some of the original banjo bolt setups. Um, then we got a zip tie just holding some of the V-band, but 44 millimeter wastegate. This is the straight dumb tube for the wastegate. 44 coming off there. We're gonna V-band that. That'll dump out straight, but uh, I need new coils. These are some older coil packs, which are misfiring. But yeah, this is the race car. So I want to do a quick video, just start to show you guys. All right, real quick, now that we got no plane overhead, just want to show you this side. So it's a free, like I said, 44 millimeter wastegate um, on the ZZP manifold. The ZZP manifold makes it great because it's the Ecotech and you can see the snail. Um, three inch V-band coming off the hot side of the turbo. And then we're going to go just straight down there is some opening on um, the stock, not the stock, but the aftermarket downpipes kind of twist right at the mouth, which you need, you need like a slight, you can't go straight. My idea was you can go straight 90 degrees down, but unfortunately you kind of need to cockeye it like that a little bit, just off kilter. So I got to cut this, re-weld it, um, change it up a little bit, but yeah, totally stripping the secondary air out. Want some? I'm ordering probably the charge pipe kit from DO88. They've been actually awesome sending me, uh, well, a little discount code. Fortunately, I bought the rest of the stuff myself. Um, you know, this is only 80 bucks, dumb tube, maybe 40 or 50, whatever. Wastegate, super cheap on eBay. The turbo was the biggest expense, I think at 250 bucks, but I'll link everything below um, so you can check it out. But 500 horsepower is a goal. Like I said, Texas 2K. 